Hello guys, this is Jacob from Touch Light Switches. Today I'm going to show you a quick demonstration of this particular light switch. So the one I'll be, the switch I will be showing you today is the um, dimmable single gang with style with remote. So I'm going to show you it with this light and this is the demonstration as the wall plate and how to install. Okay, so first of all you're going to order and you'll get this box. You'll take it out of the box. Take it out of the bubble wrapping. Then you'll want to take... Uh, you can leave the plastic on for now. Okay, so... And I'll show you. This is a remote that comes with it. It's very small, but it looks big on camera. So, as you can see, it's about my finger's length. I'll show you that later anyway. Um, what else is in the box? Two screws and a little um, installing manual kind of thing. Okay, so for this demonstration, so these. This is your wall, okay? You're gonna have two wires. Say this one is your live wire, this one is your output wire that returns back to the light. Okay, so you take off your original switch or make the hole that's desired to fit the switch. Um, by the way, under no circumstances should you do this yourself. It should be done by and carried out by a licensed electrician, installing upgrades and etc. Okay, so you get the light switch, and you ex you expose the wires like so, like that. You put it into the the in, make sure there's no wires exposed, and then you get a screwdriver and do it up to the right tension, and make sure again there's no wires exposed. So yeah, um. Now just do it again. It'll be a lot easier to do without holding the camera, but I can't help that today. Okay, so you get the next wire and put it in in there, in the out. Also, all these other out ones are if you have more gang. More gang is how many lights run off the one switch. Like a um two gang lights which will run will control two different lights. So you tighten that one up. So if you have a look closely, I don't know if it'll focus. Oh yeah it does. See no wires are exposed, so that's a good and it's hard to pull out. So that's good. Okay. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that in a second. <laughs> I just had to do it like that because it's hard to do it on camera. Okay, so uh, take this plastic off. So there's a plastic film on there just protecting the the front glass. So see how nice it looks. Okay, so that is on the front like that. And it's clipped in like that. Is what I normally do is is put a flat screwdriver in there, prise it a bit, put it in here, prise it a bit, and then you can normally just pull it off gently. Or if it's already on the wall, you put your flat screwdriver in there and turn it carefully, and it will pop off. Okay, so once you have that off and all the wires joined, tuck them back into the the walls hole like so and make it a nice snug fit 
and normally you'd have a bracket behind but I'm not gonna show you that today okay then you get your t two screws if I can get them out of the packet one-handed and you put one screw up the top one screw down the bottom get your screwdriver screw it up like so oops and then do the same with the top one screw it up as so nice and tight so it's nice and firm in there so it doesn't move about and then you can you put the bottom the bottom bit in first put the top bit in put the top bit in making sure it's the right way with that up top those two down the bottom and there's two springs one spring and then and then oops up the top just click in like so and then it's nice and snug won't come apart okay now you go back to the meter box and turn on your power now I'll turn my light off to do this as you can see there's a blue light glowing so that indicates that the power is on and working. If I touch that, on comes this, and I can turn it right down to just glowing, and I can turn it back up. It's still getting bright. So that's as bright as it will go. And then I can turn it back down. And as you can see, now I'm just going to turn this light, my light switch off. And I'll show you how this remote works. Okay, so the light switch comes in its own cradle, like a um, air conditioner remote, so you can put it on the wall. So this is the light switch you'll get. The light switch remote. You press the top one to go on and off, number one on and off, or the other two and three do nothing unless you've got it, got two other switches with this remote. If you want them programmed that way, you have to order that in. So you can see it's on right now. If I press that, it'll go off. Press it again, it'll go on. One and number one and on off are the exact same thing, so it doesn't matter what you press. And then these you hold down minus, it goes real dim. As you can see, you press the plus and it'll get bright. Really cool. And you can Turn it off, off and on, and it stays at the same brightness. Off, on, turn it up, right up, right up on the switch, and then you can come to this and turn it right down. So it's a seamless thing, and also, if I come over here to the power point or the um, electricity line, turn the power off. Say the power goes out plug it back in, the light doesn't come on. So saving power. Um, this is my website. It's touchlifeswitches.webs.com.au. It'll be in the description. These are all the light switches I can order, all different styles and stuff. Thank you for watching. See ya.